Receiving a long-deserved animation update, the legendary archer Arash is one of the greatest farmers in Fate's Grand Order. Despite being a one-star servant, Nani? his rarity belies an impressive combination of extraordinary damage and self-sustainability. Situated around his explosive noble phantasm, and yet, his benefits to the party extend even beyond death, with his NP's post damage effect giving Master significant team compositional flexibility. The center of Arash's kit is his noble phantasm that once split the earth, Stella. Post rank up. This buster area of effect Noble Phantasm is extremely powerful, allowing Arash to easily surpass his free-to-play rivals and even many gold servants in raw damage terms. This is to the point he is effective not only against sabers, but against neutral classes as well, capable of defeating waves of enemies even without allied support. Better still, Stella only becomes stronger via its overcharge effect from 200% onwards, he lands a second hit upon opponents that survive the initial blast. The greater the overcharge, the higher the damage. This power can be significantly amplified by grailing a rush, something remarkably simple to do. On account of his one-star rarity, his enhancement and grailing costs are very low, making it easy for him to reach higher levels without incurring resource difficulties. This only makes Stella even more powerful. Yet his ability to single-handedly defeat waves of enemies is not the only way in which Arash is self-sustainable. Beyond his monstrous damage, Arash also stands out due to an impressive 30% NP battery on his third skill, Arrow Construction. This allows him to fire off his Noble Phantasm on turn 1, without the need for allied support. This requires equipping Kaleidoscope or a max limit broken the imaginary element as his craft essence. Alternatively, he can be paired with ideal support options like Merlin, Waver or Shakespeare, who provide him additional NP battery in addition to damage support. In doing so, they also extend his potential craft essence repertoire ranging from those that support his damage like Aerial Drive, to free-to-play options like a Max Limit Broken Dragon's Meridian. For longer battles, Arrow Construction also comes with healing, and is supported by Arash's solid NP gain on his Double Arts deck. As a result, pairing Arash with excellent support and the right craft essence can serve to further enhance his power. And all for just three party cost. As a one-star, it is incredible Arash brings so much raw and self-sustainable damage to the table, possibly boasting unmatched value to any lineup. As for his two remaining skills, they're not too much to write home about. His clairvoyance rank A seemingly wasn't enough to tell him he didn't need a star generation skill. He has one quick card, while toughness rank ES is a fairly mediocre defensive buff that does however work decently with Arrow Construction's healing if you want to keep Arash on the field a bit longer in order to build up his overcharge or use him against a later wave. Without doubt, Arash justifies his place in almost any lineup on account of his sheer ridiculous NP damage and self-sustainability alone. And yet, perhaps his greatest genius is actually found in his Noble Phantasm's post-damage effect. It kills him. At first glance, the prospect of a servant killing themselves with their noble phantasm is bewildering. But in the case of Arash, it is a stroke of genius. Bizarrely assigned a one-star rarity, his damage outside of his noble phantasm is poor. As a result, it actually benefits masters to remove him from the battlefield, allowing more powerful servants to enter the fray. By inflicting insta-kill upon himself, Arash grants masters the ability to modify their party mid-battle without needing to use the Chaldea Combat Uniform Mystic Code, a significant bonus with an added wave clearer to boot. 
This has two major upsides. The first is that in more difficult battles, major boss killers who may be otherwise vulnerable are protected by a reliable servant eager to clear the way, who then departs the field once their work is done. The boss killer is then able to enter the field and conduct their work unimpeded. The second is that Arash becomes pivotal to many three-turn setups. Not only is he able to destroy a wave himself, he can often do so without the support of any allies. And then, he removes himself from the battlefield, allowing the next wave clearer, or alternatively a necessary support, to enter the field themselves. By sacrificing himself, Arash grants Master significant party flexibility, yet another reason why he may possess the greatest value of any servant in Fate Grand Order. Arash is an impressive servant capable of incredible feats. He can clear almost any wave from first to final, and even does significant damage against neutral classes. Pairing him with supports like Merlin can allow him to do astronomical levels of damage even against powerful enemies. For a one-star servant, there are almost no downsides to using him. He boasts damage, low cost, self-sustainability, and even has the ability to help Master strategize by removing himself from the battlefield once his work is done. He truly is the greatest farmer.